Mark from Vortech Pro, video number 23. We're going to show you our ported good runner compared to our unported good runner. Okay, this is our unported good runner machined for a 2190 intake valve. Here's our ported good port. We've widened the short turn about 190 thousandths over the unported runner. Okay, on the bowl diameter, we've opened it up roughly from 1.790 to 1.905, which is roughly 87% of the valve diameter. Now, from the guide boss to the top of the bowl, on the left hand side we've, we've opened it up oh, about 75 thousandths. Then on the right hand side of the bowl to the valve guide, we've opened it up 70 thousandths roughly. Okay, looking down the intake runner on this good port, we've moved this wall over starting about right here down to the valve bowl, which we blend it in right here. Now we've moved this, this guide boss over for more area right in here. And it's very important that this side of the guide boss, the roof, be higher through here than on this side. You want this side lower. This area right here is an area you have to be careful because it gets thin in here, right here. Right in this area, right here. Now, we've taken out the, the rocker stud boss hump, as you can see right here, which, you know, just left a hole for the rocker stud. Now, we move this pinch over a little bit right here and blend it in. The roof is raised a little bit and the floor, the floor of the port has also been lowered. Again, I want to go over this band right here from the bottom of the 60 to right here. This is almost like a venturi. If you could feel it, it's a hump. And this hump goes from here to around here. Of course, it doesn't go across the short turn. But this hump right here helps raise the low lift flow. Okay, that covers the porting we did on the good port. We're going to go back and flow test it and we'll be back okay, with the we results. We finished the flow testing this head at 28 inches. This is the flow numbers for the stock head with the 20650 valve. With the ported head with the 2190 valve, 49.4 CFM up at 200 lift. At 300, it was 40.5 up. At 400 lift, it was 36.7 up. At 500, we were 48.2 up. And at 600, we were 54.7 up. Here's our flow numbers on the ported good port. 175 at 2. 233 at 3, 275 at 4, 306 at 5, and 324 at 600 lift. On our next video, we're going to get into the combustion chamber work and porting the exhaust port. And after that, we'll probably make some molds of the ports so you can see those. We've got a Buick 455 GS drag test coming up. You guys might be interested in that. Let us know. We sure appreciate you watching our videos.